video game workers seriously need to unionize. My name is Cassius Ken, and if you've missed the news, Telltale Games is shutting down. Recently, we've learned, abruptly, that all future Telltale games are cancelled. Wolf Among Us 2, Stranger Things, The Walking Dead Final Season, all effectively cancelled because Telltale Games filed for bankruptcy recently, laying off all 250 of its workers. That's 250 people, most without warning, most who recently, as recently as Monday of last week, started working at Telltale, no longer have a job. And it is honestly mind-blowing that something like that could happen. Because places don't just shut down. The writing is always on the wall. And the writing has been on the wall for Telltale for a while, but their games are such massive successes, you don't really think that they would shut down. But gross. Gross mismanagement of everything involved caused a company that put out a lot of really fantastic video games to shut down without notice, leaving, stranding even, 250 people without a job and without a single idea of what to do next. Game developers need to unionize. It's something that has been overdue for a while now. It's something that needs to happen because they are not protected by their employees. People that employ devs do not care about them. There might be one or two people in the company that genuinely care because they were game developers themselves, but the higher ups don't, don't care. They only care about the bottom line. And that's unfortunate because your job will come at the cost of that bottom line before anything else. And more often than not, when we see things like this happen, the people at the top usually are mostly unaffected, are usually fine. Because 250 people People were fired from a job that they were secure in with no severance package whatsoever. They just lost their job, they lost their healthcare, they have no idea what they're going to do, and they are fortunate enough to be working in an industry that cares about them from the developer side at least. And as soon as this news broke, we saw dozens and dozens of developers saying, hey, our team needs people, sign up, send in your resume, send in your portfolio, apply for this job, don't let this opportunity slip by, don't sit on this information, strike while the iron is hot, because now there are 250 more people that need jobs, and all of them are hungry. And I hope that a lot of these people bounce back, I hope that a lot of these people affected by this just sudden termination of a wonderful company just get back on their feet as quickly as possible, because it is unfortunate that something like this has to happen. It's unfortunate that something like this has to happen with no warning to the employees. The employer is new. I have no doubt in my mind that the, the people at the very top of Telltale knew that the company was going to shut down, that the company was going bankrupt. It's impossible to not know when you're dealing with the money, when you're looking at the funds, when you're seeing how many people you have to pay, how many contracts you've taken, and how much you can actually do with the money that you have. And the point that I want to stress in this, this video is game workers need protection. They need protection just like actors, just like voice actors, just like martial artists, just like stunt people. They need protection because if not, we're going to continue seeing things like this where people just get laid off for, out of the blue. And even if it's not out of the blue, it is a gross practice. Practice that's accepted that once the game is done, your job is on the line without any without moving to other projects or being sent to other companies or helped in any way after the project you're working on is done. And I guess that's fine, question mark, because a lot of a lot of developers, a lot of artists, they're they're contract workers. So they don't have they don't get healthcare. And once their contract is up, that's it. That's all. You're you're back into the wolves now. And it shouldn't be like that. If you're gonna employ people, if you're gonna have them work 60 hour weeks, if you're gonna if you're gonna have a crunch period, they need to be protected. And big companies are not gonna like it because it costs more money for them, but they're making so much money on the games that these developers make. I have no idea why it isn't a thing. Companies like EA and Activision not protecting their employees. People, we will see things like this again in the future. It's something this has happened before and it will happen again. It will continue to happen until something is done, until developers at least unionize. And they are taught that, especially from the big companies, that union is a bad word. And the union isn't looking out for you. The union is absolutely looking out for you. The gross practices of American employment is palpable. No one cares about their employees unless you're a small business. If you're, if you're working for a big company, you are a number. And once you are done, you are being discarded. And it shouldn't be like that. But I think that's where I'll end off. I have been Cassius Kent. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And I really, really wish the best of luck for all the Telltale employees infected by this massive layoff. Until next time, take care, everyone.